Salut, everyone. We are Wednesday, the 9th of April, 2025. And today, FSR 4 got hacked on Linux. Are you ready? Let's get into it. As always, let's start with a little bit of context. This news come out of nowhere, and I have the feeling that I need to just give you a little bit of like a history behind the scene of why this is so important for the user of AMG card on Linux. So if you have been living under a rock for the last like a month or even two months, even like like three months now, AMG release one of the best GPU ever, the 9070 XT, and this series of graphic card is uh, called like the RDNA4. This is like the code name for this latest generation of card. And what really differentiates them from the previous generation is their new upscaling system called FSR4. And if you look at it, what really makes it like so particular is the fact that this new architecture has a new piece of hardware. If I go lower there, uh, which is able to support the FP8 calculation. So don't ask me too much about it, okay? Because technically, I think I'm a, a little bit uh, behind to explain that in depth. But they have a piece of hardware which help supporting the calculation related to the AI, related to the upscaler FSR4. And we have been testing FSR4 on this channel on Windows and he has been dope. I have to say it again and again, this is a level which is like superior of DLSS free quality. Like I made my test on Windows and it was actually awesome. And now what you need to, to really understand is like if you look at uh, the FSR like four here, what they, what they mentioned here in their like uh, tech announce is the fact that the new ML accelerated MSR4 upscaling algorithm is trained using high quality ground truth game data on AMD Instinct Accelerator and use the new hardware accelerated FPA wave matrix multiply accumulate. So remember this name because it's important. WMMA feature of the AMD RDNA4 architecture to ensure maximum upscaling quality while still providing a substantial game performance boost. So everything is really centered around like this piece of hardware on this new card. Now, if you look at the process from the previous generation of card from AMD on how FSR has been implemented on both Windows and Linux, it's, it's, it's a totally like a different approach. On Windows, you will have FSR 4, which is technically like ready to use and need the developer on the other side to activate it on the game. And to date, as we speak, in April 2025, there is no game that uses it like within the game. And the only way to activate it is to use a third party software called OptiScaler. So make your research, it's, it's a well known software. And, and, and this is where we are at on, on Windows. It's a third party open source software you're going to have to use to trick the game and implement the GLL to make FSR 4 work on the 9070 XT. And if you understand what I just said before about the fact that there is this special like a cheap AI chip which supports FP8, those FSR 4 functions they are only available for the RDNA 4 chipset. Now on Linux, it's a totally different story. There is a SDK related to FSR, which is normally published between three and six months after the release of the hardware. So right now, everybody was expecting the dev to start to work on the FSR 4 support when they finally receive the SDK. Everything is open source. They have access to hard it. They look at the function. They implement it inside Proton. And boom, you guys on Linux enjoy uh, RDNA 4 plus FSR 4. And just as a reminder, the cart has been released one month ago. Okay, like, like four weeks ago. And this gentleman here, Hans Christian, 
did the hack. He was able to go through and find a way to implement all those new features on the AMD GPU. And guess what? Not only was able to implement it on RDNA 4, but he was also able to implement it on the previous generation. Boom! So this guy is a god. Okay, like, let me be clear. He's the main contributor of the VK3D-Proton project. This is almost the reason why you are playing DirectX 12 game on Linux right now. And if you look at this past commit, he has like 2,170 commits on just this project, on the VKD3G project. So now the real question you're gonna ask me is like, how did he do it? So obviously I don't have the technical background to explain you line by line how he was able to code it. And obviously like even if I had it, I think it would be really boring. But the story started one month ago when uh, Gilly2051 opened a ticket asking for the FSR4 support and trying to switch the DLL in Opti-Scaler, the software I mentioned just earlier. And if you go down the line, what you will read is that it's going to be really hard to be reverse engineering the WMMA, aka FSR4 language, to sort everything out. And like it's, it's almost impossible. But guess what? Two weeks after, our man, and Christian, was able to reverse engineering re to reverse engineering it. Like, yeah, I think he thinks is the right way to say it. So I was able to get an RGP capture showing WMMA instruction on Windows. So this might be enough to figure out the instruction somehow with enough effort. Boom! Man, this, this gentleman is actually awesome. Less than like two days after, he was able to map out all the AGS opcode now. He was able to go through everything. And if you go down further, you will have here all his work. One week ago, everything was completed. He was able to reverse engineer everything and put it back within Proton. And now here is the kicker, because even if he has reverse engineering everything, he still had to hack the DLL itself to remove the hardware check. And someone did it. I don't know who it is. I can't find any trace online. And someone did it. And now you can just pretend that you have a RDNA 4 card on Linux and use FSR4 with the previous generation of cards. So let's say you have a 7800 XT. You are on paper able to run FSR4 on your card. But here is the kicker. Those cards, they don't have the FP8 hardware support. And what it means, it means that it has to be a software translation. And this software translation is actually being worked on right now on the Mesa stack. And you can see it there, the RADV Float 8 hack. <laughs> Dude, I like that. We are hacking it, boys. So here you have a lot of like commit. Like it starts to really accelerate like early in the morning and you have this gentleman here like George Lehman which has been like uh, pushing a lot of code and making it work so at this point you're gonna be like so 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 do you have any like image do you have anything like did you try it Air Max? so no I did not try it but I got a lot of image from people who actually like worked on it so this was the first iteration of the hack and like, as you can see like fsr4 was there but the textures they were like a little bit like uh, <laughs> special i would say the rendering was not there but then after some work on it more like tweak more hack you can see it's getting better like the texture the rendering is getting better and better and now look where we are at so this is uh, again like uh, the 9th of april 2025 it's done you can make it work so in this video, I'm not going to explain exactly how to do it, because even if I have all the different steps out there, I don't think this is uh, something you want to do on your hand. This is really a key. You have to edit uh, some uh, DLL. You have to compile yourself uh, Proton right now. You have to do a lot of things. But I believe like in the coming days, maybe week, 
We're gonna have like a full support related with OptiScaler and also like Proton Experimental. So you're gonna be in a space where you just gonna have to put like a little command and everything is gonna be like running out of the box. So I wanted to show you more screen. Uh, here it still was a work in progress, but it's there on Cyberpunk. Same with Path of Exile here. And you can see here, like in terms of like upscaling, you can look at the data. Uh, three milliseconds to upscale might be a little bit on the high side, but still it's working, it's there. And I'm pretty sure like everything is going to be optimized in the future, but it's there, guys. Like, it's, it's actually there. All right, so you got the news. So again, I, I want to share that with you because I think this is awesome. I never expected the FSR4 being supported on Linux one month after the release of the card. I was expecting like maybe like six months. No, one month. It took one month of the dev team. And I, I have to say like uh, the, the, the Proton like dev team is just insane. And I want to give them a big shout out. Here I already uh, put the emphasis on Ants because I do believe like he did most of the work here, but it's a community work, you know, you need feedback, you need exchange. Uh, but like, I, I think he has done most of the heavy lifting here. And, uh, and I want to give him a big shout out. This is awesome for all the Linux users out there. And what it means right now is like, if you want to go crazy, I'm going to put the link of the thread on GitHub uh, for you to check if you are able to decode everything and install it yourself. Uh, I, I wouldn't recommend it now. What I would recommend is just be patient and, and wait for Proton to actually implement it, even if it's a little bit hacky in the next like you know week or two weeks soon it's gonna be like one command line one variable and boom you will have access to fsr4 in game this is crazy that was the good news uh, of the day i wanted to share it with you guys i think uh, when it's actually on i'm gonna switch my graphic card there and make all the testing maybe make a tutorial for you guys but I think right now, like it's too early for me to push this type of info, knowing like in two weeks, it's going to be way easier to implement. So again, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoy this video. This is great. Don't forget to put a thumb up. Uh, subscribe if you did not subscribe yet. And if you want to support the channel financially, Patreon, YouTube membership, you guys are the best. Thank you very much for all of this. And see you in the next one. Bisous, bisous.